For millennia, humanity has gazed at the stars, wondering if we are alone in the vast expanse of the cosmos. The discovery of a potentially habitable planet orbiting a distant star has ignited our collective imagination, rekindling the ancient dream of finding a second Earth. This is more than just a scientific breakthrough. It is a profound moment in human history, a testament to our insatiable curiosity and our enduring quest to explore the unknown. The search for exoplanets, planets beyond our solar system, has gained incredible momentum in recent decades. Astronomers have developed ingenious methods to detect these distant worlds, often relying on subtle gravitational wobbles or faint dips in starlight. These techniques have revealed a staggering diversity of planets, from gas giants larger than Jupiter to rocky worlds that could potentially harbor life. The discovery of a planet located within the habitable zone of its star, where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist on the surface, is a particularly tantalizing find. Water is considered a fundamental ingredient for life as we know it. Its presence on other planets raises the thrilling possibility of finding extraterrestrial life, perhaps even civilizations that have evolved under alien skies. This newfound planet, located a mere 40 light years away, is close enough to be studied in detail with current and future telescopes. This proximity offers an unprecedented opportunity to unlock the secrets of a world that may hold the key to answering one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone? Finding a planet light years away is no easy feat. It requires a combination of advanced technology, meticulous observation, and a bit of cosmic luck. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the power of scientific inquiry. The journey to discover new worlds is driven by our innate curiosity and desire to understand the universe. The discovery of this potentially habitable world was made possible by the Kepler Space Telescope, a remarkable instrument launched by NASA in 2009. This telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. Kepler's mission was to stare at a patch of sky containing over 150,000 stars, searching for the telltale signs of orbiting planets. This ambitious mission required patience and precision. Kepler employed a technique known as the transit method, which looks for tiny dips in a star's brightness caused by a planet passing in front of it. This method has proven to be incredibly effective in identifying distant worlds. Imagine a moth flying in front of a spotlight. The moth itself is too small to see from a distance, but its shadow momentarily dims the light. This analogy helps us understand how the transit method works. Similarly, when a planet transits its host star, it blocks a tiny fraction of the star's light, creating a dip that Kepler can detect. These dips are like fingerprints, unique to each planet. By analyzing the frequency and duration of these dips, astronomers can determine the size of the planet, the shape of its orbit, and its distance from its star. This data is crucial for understanding the planet's potential habitability. The data revealed that this particular planet, slightly larger than Earth, orbits its star every 385 days, placing it squarely within the habitable zone. This zone is where conditions might be just right for life. This means that temperatures on the planet's surface could be similar to those found on Earth, allowing for the existence of liquid water. Water is a key ingredient for life as we know it. The discovery of this planet was a triumph for the Kepler mission, but it was just the beginning of the story. Each new discovery opens the door to further questions and explorations. Confirmation of its existence and further characterization required observations from ground-based telescopes, which provided crucial data about the planet's mass and gravitational influence on its star. These observations help paint a more complete picture of this distant world. What makes a planet habitable? Scientists believe that several key factors are essential for life as we know it to exist and this newfound world seems to check many of the boxes. First and foremost, it lies within the habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone. This region around a star is where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold, allowing liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Water is essential for life as we know it, acting as a solvent for biochemical reactions and playing a vital role in countless biological processes. The presence of liquid water on a planet's surface is therefore considered a strong indicator of its potential habitability. Second, the planet is thought to be rocky, like Earth, rather than a gas giant like Jupiter or Saturn. 
Rocky planets are better suited to support life as we know it, as they can provide a solid surface for oceans, continents, and the complex ecosystems that life requires. While we can't yet say for sure what this planet's surface is like, its size and density suggest that it is likely to be a terrestrial world. Third, the planet orbits a star similar to our Sun, albeit slightly smaller and cooler. This type of star, known as a red dwarf, is the most common type of star in the Milky Way galaxy. Red dwarfs have much longer lifespans than our Sun, meaning that life on a planet orbiting a red dwarf would have ample time to evolve. This is where the magic happens in the vast expanse of the universe. The concept of the habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is crucial in our search for life beyond Earth. It is a region around a star where conditions might be just right for life to exist. Just like Goldilocks in the fairy tale, planets need conditions that are just right to support life as we know it. Too hot, and life would be scorched, too cold, and it would be frozen. The habitable zone represents the sweet spot around a star where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold, allowing liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Liquid water is essential because it is a solvent for biochemical reactions. The location of the habitable zone depends on the size and temperature of the star. Larger, hotter stars have their habitable zones farther out, while smaller, cooler stars have them closer in. For hotter, more massive stars, the habitable zone is located farther away, while for cooler, less massive stars, it is located closer in. This variation is due to the amount of energy the star emits. Planets too close to their star would be scorching hot, with any water boiling away into space. Such extreme conditions would make it impossible for life as we know it to survive. Planets too far from their star would be frigid, with any water locked up as ice. These icy worlds would be inhospitable to life forms that rely on liquid water. This newly discovered planet lies within the habitable zone of its star. A red dwarf star smaller and cooler than our sun red dwarfs are the most common type of star in our galaxy. This means that the planet receives just the right amount of energy from its star to maintain liquid water on its surface, assuming it has an atmosphere to regulate its temperature. The presence of an atmosphere is crucial for maintaining stable conditions. However, being in the habitable zone is not a guarantee of habitability. There are many other factors that must be considered. Other factors, such as the planet's atmosphere, its magnetic field, and its geological activity, also play a crucial role. An atmosphere can protect the planet from harmful radiation, while a magnetic field can shield it from solar winds. The discovery of a planet within the habitable zone of a nearby star is an exciting step in our search for life beyond Earth. It opens up new possibilities and fuels our curiosity about the universe. It reminds us that our planet is not unique and that there may be other worlds out there capable of supporting life as we know it, or perhaps life as we don't yet know it. The universe is vast and full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Finding a planet in the habitable zone is a significant step, but it's not enough to confirm the presence of life. The habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist. One crucial piece of the puzzle is the planet's atmosphere, a delicate envelope of gases that can dramatically influence a planet's climate and habitability. Without an atmosphere, a planet could be exposed to harsh space conditions, making it inhospitable. Earth's atmosphere, for example, protects us from harmful radiation from the sun, regulates our climate, and provides the gases essential for life. It acts as a shield, a blanket, and a reservoir of vital elements. Detecting and characterizing the atmosphere of a planet light years away is a daunting task, but astronomers have developed ingenious methods to do so. These methods require precision, patience, and advanced technology. One technique involves observing the planet as it passes in front of its star. This event, known as a transit, can provide valuable data about the planet's size and atmospheric composition. As starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere, some of it is absorbed by the gases present. This absorption leaves telltale signs in the light spectrum. By analyzing the spectrum of light that reaches Earth, scientists can identify the chemical fingerprints of those gases, providing clues about the composition of the atmosphere. This process is akin to decoding a cosmic barcode. Another technique involves observing the planet as it passes behind its star. This is known as an occultation. 
This allows scientists to isolate the light coming from the planet itself, which can reveal information about the temperature and composition of its atmosphere. By studying this light, they can infer the presence of molecules like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. These observations are incredibly challenging, as the light from the planet is faint and easily overwhelmed by the glare from its host star. Advanced instruments and techniques are required to separate the planet's light from the star's overwhelming brightness. Discovering that this planet has an atmosphere and determining its composition would be a major breakthrough in our understanding of its potential habitability. Such a discovery could open new avenues in the search for extraterrestrial life. An atmosphere could provide further evidence for the presence of liquid water, protect the surface from harmful radiation, and even hint at the possibility of life. It would be a monumental step in answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe?